Uh, Mr. Chair. Speaker, during question time, I attributed a quote uh, to John Key in one of my questions. In fact, that quote was actually made by David Farrer, and I would like to apologise to them both. Speaker, last night David Shearer came to the House to correct the record in relation to a supplementary question he asked during question time uh, yesterday afternoon. He admitted that he'd wrongly attributed a statement to me when in fact it had been made by another person. Mr Speaker, uh, it's not my intention to mislead the House when I said I stood by that statement. I assumed that Mr Shearer had his facts right when he asked me whether I stood by a particular statement. Oh, I, I apologise oh, to the House for making that assumption. I won't make that assumption again. Oh, uh, Dennis O'Rourke. Did John Banks tell the Prime Minister that obfuscation is just another word for bull dot 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 com. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. But Mr Speaker, no, but maybe that member should go out and watch the footage of Winston Peters holding up a no sign, telling, telling the New Zealand public for six months he didn't know anything about Owen Glenn. Maybe he should go and look at Winston Peters dealing with the media for 24 odd plus years and he'll get a great example of what obfuscation is, which is when you don't answer any question, doesn't matter how directly it's asked of you, and doesn't matter how much you need to bend the truth.